winter. Mm -hmm. uh, Nat Winters is live from Fair Oaks learning to plant succulents. Cool. I'm attempting to help Barbara here. It's always hard with the one hand, but she's going to do most of it because we want the plants to survive. <laughs> so we're talking today about dressing up the home in the winter time, or really any time with plants as succulents. You're saying they're really hardy plants. They are. They're amazing, and uh, they've got great color options and textures. And uh, you know, this time of year, you just need some some fresh greenery in your home because it, you can start feeling a little bit. Uh, a little bit cold and gray. Yeah. Okay. I want to be like screw it because we said we just need to get our hands dirty and yeah. I could do I could do my hands. Hold yeah, on. There we go. That, yeah. That's that's probably more than <laughs> more than enough. More than enough. Okay. So what we're doing today, in case you're wondering, is you know anybody can plant some succulents, but you need to spice it up a little bit. And the way we're doing that today is we're putting succulents in containers that you wouldn't normally put them in, right? So right. up front, you already did a bunch of them for right. us. Right. Like this is an old vintage uh, casserole dish. That I got at a thrift store. Very cool. Uh, this is a teacup. I love that one. It's adorable. Isn't that sweet? And uh, that turned out great. And uh, it just, it, you just have to kind of think outside the box. We're going to use this little rusty uh, container here. And the trick on, on metal containers is to drill holes on the bottom. And I did that with a simple power drill. And it's super easy to do. Um, with, with ceramics, you need a special. A special drill bit. I haven't done that on them. You don't necessarily have to have a, a draining pot, and if you don't have a draining pot, then you want to water less. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about with these ones because there isn't the little holes or anything down there. Right, right. So what we're going to do here, we may have a little bit too much dirt here. Oh no. But, and you want you want to use a special dirt. It's it's for succulents and cactus. It has sand and peat moss in it, and so um, we want to break up the root structure a little bit and and just work it in there, stuff it in there. You don't have to, um, to worry about anything. It's really going to last a long time. You can use a little spoon in hard to, hard to reach areas to get your extra dirt in there. Um, but just smush it in there and, um, and you're, you're kind, of, kind of good to go. Okay, so this is what, my, what I said we should have done. <laughs> That's a good way, right? <laughs> Done. Perfect. Perfect. Job's over. <laughs> no, but we don't want that. That's not pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to take it out of its container, kind of loosen the, the root structure yeah. a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. No, that's okay. great. That's great. Okay. And then and then smush it in there. You're going to lose a couple of leaves typically, but um, yeah, just add some extra. There you go. And in small containers like this, I use a spray bottle with water in it, and um, you don't want to put too much water in it. You don't want the, the plant sitting in water or else it's going to, the roots are going to rot. But um, you can really, uh, it's sort of like an orchid. You can just add plenty of water and uh, with a spray bottle. Um, and uh, you ju just got a fun little piece of greenery in your home. I love it. It's a great way to add a little green during this winter time. Yeah. And we were kind of going back and forth about what, whether or not this works, but you were saying you actually have some of these out on the front porch and they're well protected by like yes. a, an overhanging. Yes, and you can even propagate them very easily. Uh, and maybe that w we can do on another, another yeah, segment. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. We'll work on my black thumb to get it to the brown <laughs> level. And then maybe someday maybe. we'll be green. Green, yeah. <laughs> green would be good. Yeah, green would be good. Succulents so are great we want to, to mention start. they yeah. have all these classes all the time. Yeah, the treasuredhome.com. Yeah, treasuredhome.com. And then also, they're closed all this whole week, but they have their big end of the year blowout this weekend, and everything has to go. So everything's on sale. They want to get rid of it so they can bring in new inventory. So you guys should definitely stop by if you're looking for something fun to do. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, in a teacup. Do you see that? Cacti in a teacup. Yeah,